Guys, if you're using a Wi-Fi connection in your laptop or desktop, I would not at all recommend to miss these settings. Because after doing all these settings, not only your Wi-Fi speed will be increased, you will also get 5 GHz network if your laptop and the Wi-Fi router supports 5 GHz. So overall, it's a win-win situation after doing these settings. So just do it right and it will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So no worries. So here, just do a right click in the start icon and then go to device manager. We'll have to look for this network adapters. And once you have find it, just click on this next, just next to it, just to expand it and look for any option which says wireless. Now in your computer, you might be have, you might have Dell, Asus, or a Lenovo or any other brand. Look for anything which says adapter, network adapter or wireless adapter. So in my computer, it says wireless AC. So I'll just select that and then go to properties. So we just have done the right click and clicked on properties. And here we need to go to this advanced tab. Now, once we are here, we need to check four settings here. Now, if some of the settings is not there in your computer, not a problem. You can skip that part. So the very first part is channel width for 5 gigahertz. It should be auto. Channel width for 5 gigahertz. This fat channel intolerant. There could be a possibility that you don't have this fat channel intolerant. If it's there, click on disabled. Now, this will boost up the internet speed so if you're getting 2 mbps internet there could be a possibility that you will get three or four or maybe more than that because fat channel intolerant when it is disabled it increases the bandwidth and the speed once you have selected that scroll down and select preferred band and here select prefer 5 gigahertz band now obviously 5 gigahertz is better than 2.4. So if your laptop or desktop or, and the router supports 5 gigahertz, then you should always use 5 gigahertz. So once you have selected, select this roaming aggressiveness. And the roaming aggressiveness is something higher the value, lower the internet speed, and lower the value, higher the internet speed. So I would recommend to select to the lowest, select one in the roaming aggressiveness. And here, the next one will be transmit power. Please make sure that it is selected to the highest. So roaming aggress aggressiveness should be lowest and transmit power should be highest. Once you have done that, click on OK and restart the computer. And please let me know in the comment section if it has increased the performance of your Wi-Fi and the internet speed. And guys, please hit the like and subscribe. I really need your support. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.